Hey everybody, Alonzo, Penelope, and Piper here with Gulf Coast Smoke. This is take four on our introduction. First time I had my son in my hands, he walked off set during the middle of the intro, so the director fired him, and then Piper wasn't in. She was out, she was in, she was out. She got fired, but we brought her back on because she's such a talent. We couldn't let her slip through the cracks. But what we're doing today is we are cooking a brisket pie, and we're showing off our brand new Gateway Drum Smoker. So we wanted to talk a little bit about why we picked the drum smoker, what our future plans are for it, and then show you guys some of the features on it and some of the things that we really like. So the reason I'm doing a brisket pie today is because the other day Mickey posted in our Facebook group and he said that he was waiting for an instructional video on it. He posted a beautiful looking picture. I'll try and get a screenshot and put it on the screen right now. And a lot of people liked it a lot of people loved the picture and there was a lot of interaction so my wife and i decided let's try this let's see what we can do so on saturday we purposely smoked a brisket just for this video i got the leftovers here i got some of the au jus in there as well we'll warm that up throw some barbecue inspired flavors in there some southern hospitality some barbecue sauce we'll get it warm and then my wife already put together two pie crusts and there's a recipe on our website for that pie crust. We'll put a layer on the bottom, we'll put a layer on top, and we're actually gonna cook this in our drum smoker. That's gonna be our first cook on our drum smoker. I know it's not the most ideal cook, but we figured we wanna season the drum smoker today. Let's go ahead and throw this on and get it cooked as well, right? All right, so first things first, I want you guys to come on in. I will show you the ingredients, even though I kind of already showed you, and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna spend a little bit of time with the drum smoker. Not as much B-roll today because I do wanna cover what we like about the drum smoker. Uh, and I will say this before I go any further, this is not a sponsored video. My wife and I bought this drum smoker with our own money. We did heavy research and we felt that it was the best purchase for us at the time. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But come on in, let me show you what we're working with and then we're gonna get right to it. All right. so. What we're working with today is some leftover brisket. Like I said, I smoked this on Saturday and it tasted amazing. I know it's gonna make for a great brisket pie. We got those two pied crusts that I was talking about. The recipe is on the website. So one of the things that my wife told me, because I'm not very good at baking, my wife told me that you want these to be cold, not frozen when you're doing this. So we'll roll them out in a little bit and we're gonna put them in the bottom of the cast iron and then on top as well. But again, make sure that these are cold, not frozen when you're doing this. And that's some advice from my wife that makes great pastries. Okay, so while we're seasoning up the smoker, we wanted to talk a little bit about why we decided to go with the Gateway Drum Smoker. So realistically, it was between a Kamado and a drum for us, and we chose the drum straight up because we want to compete. We've signed up for a few contests, and we've seen a lot of people put out some great products on these drums. That doesn't mean we won't get a Kamado later. I'm talking to my wife about it right now. But right now, we're just gonna stick with the drum, and we're really happy with the purchase. We love the way it looks, and we're super excited to put this thing to use. So about three or four weeks ago, my wife, my kids and I, we drove up to Concan, Texas and competed in a barbecue contest. And it was just a blast. Sincerely, it was a blast. If you guys love barbecue, go out to one at least once in your lifetime. And I promise you're gonna have a great, great time to be around that many people that love barbecue just as much as you, to see how serious people get, it truly is amazing. And we had a blast. So after that, my wife and I had a discussion and we talked about what we wanted to do moving forward. So we signed up for a few contests and we'll see how we do. 
I've told you guys before and I'll say it again, I am not the best cook in the world and I'll never claim to be, but my wife and I have a great time doing this and you're looking at our team. Well, you can't really see my wife right now, but my wife and I are the team. We're gonna go out and compete together and it's just what we wanna do. So hopefully, obviously, we can bring home some good results, share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to do well out there. But if not, it's not gonna stop us from trying and it's not gonna stop us from having a good time. So while we're at the contest, one of my teammates, Mr. Johnny, he actually had one of these drums and it was truly an amazing, an amazing smoker. And I saw a lot of the teams out there also had them as well. So that's why we decided to go with the drum. And when I was looking into drums in general, there was a couple other brands, the Hunsaker, the Oklahoma Joe, the Ugly Drum Smoker Kit. And we just decided that this one was the best one for us because I looked at the reviews, I saw a lot of people cooking on them, and we love the product that was coming off of these. So that's why we chose this specific smoker. And that's why moving forward, we are gonna try our hand at a view contest. Now don't expect us to go out and win every single one of them. Hopefully you guys do cheer us on from home, but you know, again, this is for fun. We truly love to cook and we're excited about going out to these contests and seeing what we can do. So we actually have one next Saturday and Sunday in Sinton, Texas. So obviously I'll let you guys know how we did. I'm gonna leave a few pictures of the chicken and the ribs that we put together for the contest a couple of weeks ago. And um, unfortunately I didn't get any pictures of the brisket, but I'll put as much as I can there for you guys. We obviously did not have a great turnout, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I learned a lot at that first contest. I had no idea how it was gonna go, but I learned that it's so important to be on time with everything, and it's so important to hit those flavor profiles that the judges are looking for. So we're always looking to make a few changes if needed. We're working on a few products ourselves to make changes to hopefully pop and give the judges the flavor they want. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this smoker. It's about time to let everything season and cook down in there and then we're going to put the brisket pie on we're going to show you guys in the end how it looks and of course i'm going to taste it and i'll let you guys know if you should make it at your house i know you should make it at your house but we'll talk about it in a little bit Okay, shout out again to Mickey for the awesome idea here on the brisket pie. It looks so good. It smells so good. The pie crust looked amazing. You could see that just a second ago, and I'm ready to dive in. So just to recap on what we did, my wife made the pie crusts. I'll put a recipe down in the description below so you guys can follow along if you want that. And we started rolling these out when they were cold. They weren't frozen, but you definitely have to use a little bit of force to get these rolled out. Once you put a little bit of pressure on them and they get a little warmer, it becomes super duper easy. We used a cast iron pan today. I put one of the pie crusts on the bottom, made sure that I pushed it up against the sides and the bottom of the cast iron. And then we filled it with our brisket, added some Southern Hospitality and some HEB Texas barbecue sauce in there. 
And then we topped it with another one of those pie crusts. So overall, it was a very, very simple cook. Don't be intimidated by something like this. You guys can do this at your house or in your backyard with no problems at all whatsoever. Again, we decided to get the gateway drum because we felt like it was perfect for what we want to do. We saw a lot of people doing hot and fast cooks. And one of the things that kind of stunk about that competition is I was up at 3 a.m. getting that brisket ready for the next day. People were waking up at 6, 7 a.m. and they were getting their briskets done before me. So the offset trailer might not be the way to do it for us. And we're just gonna try out the drum for a little bit and see what happens. Again, we're competing to have fun and do something else together as a family. Well, really it's just gonna be my wife and I, my dad will hang around as well. The kids aren't gonna be around at competition time because it makes it a little bit harder, but regardless, it's gonna be a blast. Let's cut right into this brisket pie. Talk about how it tastes. All right, big bite. Pie crust is perfect. Perfect texture added to that sweet, spicy, just truly delicious brisket. Sorry for talking with my mouthful. That brisket, I mean, when we cooked it the other day, it was amazing. One of the things we did was we cooked it hot and fast. We're starting to practice that hot and fast brisket cook. And I'll tell you what, the results are, so far they're great. So if you guys haven't tried a hot and fast brisket, I recommend trying one as well. And honestly, I think you're really gonna like the results. So if you guys do competitions, give me some words of advice down below because we are hitting our first one this weekend. Well, technically our second one, but it'll be our first one by ourselves this weekend. And I definitely wanna do well. So if you guys have any advice, leave it down below. If you guys like this video, now's a perfect time to subscribe. Tell everybody else about the channel as well. We're trying to grow. We're trying to get people to be involved in Gulf Coast Smoke and know that you can be a pit master in your own backyard with Gulf Coast Smoke's Texas Made Barbecue Seasonings and our YouTube channel. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.